Hey, Willison, this is Tony with the Bowtie Boys. Hey, in Dakota. We uh, decided to take a shot with the 2020 LT Tahoe. Now, when most of you think LT, you're going to think, oh, it's, it's base trim, but I got something for you. This is a black and gold edition, so it's been redone from the ground up. I'm going to show you a couple of the features we have through the front here, and then we're going to move on to the back with Dakota. He seems eager to do it. All right, so we're going to start on the left side of it. So obviously we're going to have automatic lights, which in the event that you turn on your vehicle and you want to uh, turn off your lights, right? You're just going to slide it to the left and it'll turn off your lights. Now, obviously you can go to running lights and you can go to headlights as well. Okay. Now, next to that is going to be your transfer case controls for you to be able to go from two to auto four high and four low and you will get an indicator on the front when you are transferring to let you know that you do have a four-wheel drive transfer happening now we're going to go back to two wheel just so we can keep it it's a nice dry day out there we do have the ability to navigate through a lot of information on the dash here we're not going to go through all of it but being able to easily access your vehicle kind of see what your trips are looking like the fuel range you have remaining your oil life your tire pressure and so forth okay now some of the more amenities that you're going to like I, we live in north dakota the heated steering wheel super important i hate getting into a vehicle and it being frigid so that's something i'm definitely going to like as well as heated seats on both sides you are going to have an analog uh, control system for your dual climate control as well as you do have controls for the rear and the back in the event that you need to um, change that on the fly as well as you have an eight inch screen here to be able to go one of the best things about this screen is you have built-in nav so you don't have to worry about subscribing to onstar to get that feature that is available to you and then obviously the big ones are going to be um, connecting your phone listening to your music that's all going to be built in and wireless as well okay now we do have a uh, video control here and that's going to be for the rear entertainment which Dakota is going to go into here shortly something to keep in mind is we do have leather seats these aren't cloth okay so most of you think cloth when you go to uh, an LT but like I said before this is a black and gold edition that's why you're going to have that cool black and gold oil flag there all right okay everyone so um, back here we got second row captain's chairs and then we got third row bench all right so um, one of my favorite things about these second row captains Obviously with this leather interior, it's super nice, but our second row even has heated seats. So we have heat up front in our seats, and then we got second row heated seats. Now those controls are back here, um, right down there. And then you can also lock those from the front in case you got kids or small passengers back here that you don't want messing with your, with your um, rear temperature controls. Um, another big thing that I love about this Tahoe is the space right here so we have all this aisle space now if you're like me I have kids so I have to hook up car seats I got to unhook car seats I got to make sure kids get into the car and then if you got to get any back to the third row no one's climbing over seats no one's jumping on stuff you're not getting footprints on these nice leather seats you have all this room to get back to the third row okay I'll even demonstrate it now now I'm not a large man by any means but if I can move around in this vehicle then just about anyone could okay so um, I'll show you guys here in a second how to fold these seats down and how much cargo space this Tahoe actually has. But I do want to point out one more feature before I get out of the back here. And that is this rear entertainment system. Okay, I'll go ahead and fold this down and I'll show you guys. Um, so what this is, this is our rear entertainment system. So you can play videos, you can play anything like that. And then we actually have wireless headphones that link up to this rear entertainment system. Now this is controllable from back here. You have manual controls. And then you also have forward controls right there at the tip of my finger um, and the front infotainment. So from the front console there, you can actually control the rear entertainment, um, which is really good for keeping your passengers occupied. Um, if they're small children or if they're adults that you're tired of listening to talk, then you fire up this rear entertainment center. Okay, so it's a bit windy out here, but you guys already know that because we live in Wilson, North Dakota, so I apologize if it's hard to hear me. If it's hard to hear me, I'll try to talk loud. Um, this right here, I'm gonna open up the trunk space so you can see it's just a push button truck. Um, so there's no lift in this heavy gate or anything like that. You just push the button and let it open. So back here is the space we got right now and you're thinking oh that's not a whole lot of space well let me tell you what if you're not always carrying around a third row passenger you just use these buttons here to drop the seats so there's no finagling with levers with switch with anything like that you just push this button and it drops these seats here so I'm gonna demonstrate that to you now 
One seat down, two seats down, okay? So now we got tons more space for cargo, um, dogs, anything that you might have back here that'll take up that extra space. We got space for it. I'll even go as far as to show you how much space we got. So here I am. I'm not quite the size of a dog, but uh, if I can fit back here, you might be able to get one of your dogs back here or two or um, whatever cargo for long trips. If you have luggage or anything like that, there's plenty, plenty of space. It's a very ample room back here to fit anything you might need. So that's what I like about these Tahoes because at first glance, um, it just looks like a third row SUV, but with push of two buttons, it becomes a second row with tons of cargo space. Okay, I'm gonna hop out and I wanna show you one more thing with these seats. <clears throat> okay, so now let's say we need even more room. We're making a trip to Menards or whatever home renovation store and we're gonna haul back some stuff and we drop these down. We can even go as far as to drop our second row down and it expands our cargo space even more. Okay, and then with just a push of a button, we can raise these up here. That easy. Now, if you're like me, um, who's had you know tons of vehicles with hatches and stuff in the back, and then sometimes you forget, or you're unloading groceries, and something like this happens, there's nothing to worry about. See, so you're not going to have any hatches coming down on your head or anything like that. That's a nice little built-in safety feature that not a lot of people know about. Um, I know it saved my head once or twice when I'm unloading groceries, so I'm not getting bonked by the hatch.